President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni recently pardoned 13 prisoners serving sentences for causing financial loss, defilement and manslaughter. These individuals were granted forgiveness on public health and humanitarian grounds. Among those pardoned is former NSSF Managing Director David Chandi Jamwa, who has been released from Luzira Prison on charges of causing financial loss. Tezira Jamwa, the former member of parliament for West Budama North County in the 6th parliament, and David's mother was present at Luzira to receive her son. She was accompanied by David's excited son, expressing joy at his father's release. David, I think, was innocent. That is what I can say. But finally, justice has been done. So we thank God. You know, life has been difficult. Without him, he's such a presence in the family. He's such a family man. He, he puts a lot of emphasis on family and teaches us a lot of values that are important. So it has been extremely difficult growing without him. But even when he was there, he has still endeavored to be in our lives and present and keeps giving his guiding hand over us. So. They recounted the moment they received the news of David Jamwa's release. Found me in Nagongera, in my home. I was getting ready to come back to Kampala. Then I got a call from State House, and I was told that His Excellency the President had signed the prerogative of mercy, and it, the report had been sent to the Attorney General for further action. Um, it was surreal, truly surreal. It came obviously as a surprise, uh, but good news always soothes you. And so once we found out uh, that the prerogative had been exercised, uh, we could only be grateful and appreciative. Jamwa shared that justice has finally been accorded to him after serving a significant amount of time in prison and expressed optimism about reconnecting with his family. Uh, I lost so many relatives. I've got to mourn those, including a daughter. Um, I've got to catch up with family, kids, friends. Um, and tons of them were behind my release. Um, and then getting back into the rat race um, and hopefully contributing to more development in Uganda. Despite pleading not guilty to two counts, including abuse of office and causing financial loss, David Jamwa was convicted but acquitted of the abuse of office charge. According to Article 121.4 of the Constitution, the President has the power to pardon any person convicted of an offence, either free or subject to lawful conditions. The Anti-Corruption Court in 2011 convicted the former Managing Director of the NSSF, Chandi Jamwa, of causing loss of over 3 billion shillings to the security fund. At the time of his release, Jamwa had spent six years in Luzira prison. Ivan Kahua, UBC News. Mm, sorry. Mm.